This field was home to legends like Bolino and Staubach, the United States Naval Academy in Annapolis and home to the Midshipmen of Navy. Today, two teams get set to square off in an intra-conference battle in the AAC. As we'll see a team fresh and ready to go off a of bye week, the Charlotte 49ers. Taking on a team who is rested and ready coming off a of bye, the Navy Midshipmen. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. We'll kick it off to get us underway. From inside his own 15, looking for a crevice. He's brought down after a good return gets it out to the 31. The mid's offense is on the field for the first time today. Here he comes, and obviously defense is always going to be aware of a quarterback, but boy, he finds a way to put defenses on their heels all the time, David. I mean, what can't he do? He's got the weapons, he's got the confidence, he's got the experience. Jesse, these kind of guys are so hard to defend. You're right. They better be able to find a way to get pressure on him, because if they don't, this is going to be a long day. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. And this is not the way they envisioned the opening drive going with the third and long coming up. Feeling some heat. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. Man, you talk all week about setting the tone, quieting this crowd, don't let him get involved. You know how you do that? Get a sack and force a punt on the first possession of the football game. That's a heck of a start for this defense. Navy will have to punt it away. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. Makes the catch at the 30. He gets a block. Returns like that are why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the O. So the Charlotte 49ers offense will try to get something started with their first possession. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play while well, they immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys that are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? Brown wants to pass. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. And I love playing man coverage on the back end. Get to those receivers' faces. Don't let them feel comfortable in run zone where they can find all these holes in the zone and my rush can't get home. Pressure them, pressure them, pressure them. And the 49ers decide to punt it away. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon. And the offense has a long field in front of them as the ball is marked down at the 10. And the midshipman offense making its way back onto the field. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. Leaves it with the back. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. Offense gets set for second down. The give to the tailback. Stacked up after gaining a couple to the 23. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. It's a draw. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Navy will have to punt it away. First punt was gorgeous. Let's see if he can do it again. He will not make a fair catch. Feel the punt and bring it back. Pretty solid coverage there, and they'll stop him at the 26. Charlotte will send the offense back onto the field. 
They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front, they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then... then run. Hey, that's a live ball. How in the world did the offense retain possession? They come to the line facing third and long from the 25. Brown will throw it. They're bringing heat. Defensive linemen live to get after the quarterback, to get sacks, to get by those big hot volleys up front on the offensive line. And so you taste dirt. The 49ers will call on their punt team. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. Running it back, it's Myers. And the punt team gets down there and gets the return man on the ground. And here comes the Navy offense. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this as a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for the position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling again, create some momentum, just get a few first downs, and I'm in scoring position. Now the play fake. Looking for space to the left. Trying to make magic on the scramble. And the defense had its hands full, but they finally wrestling down short of the first down. And it looks as if they're going to try a field goal. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. And with that, they break the seal on the score and it's 3-0. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut him out there and let him struggle through the uprights. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. Charlotte has the ball back. The 49ers offense will return to the field. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. They run the reverse. Plows through the defense. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Probably the toughest call on the play sheet. Third and long. Ball's at the 25. Might be looking to run. He'll pull it down. Oh, it's a fumble. Defense falls on the ball. Going to be a turnover. And he was under so much duress on that play. You saw him scrambling, trying to buy time, doing everything he can to keep the play alive. But the defense just kept coming in waves. And he got a little bit downfield before they finally knocked it out and jumped on that fumble. And Navy will go back on the attack. You want to talk about having a weapon to bail out a drive? David, that's why kickers are so important after that long field goal. And listen, important is a relative term. We need to make longer passes and get better gains so we don't have to kick long field goals, Palmer, again on offense. And they've got the weapons to do that, David. They just got to be able to dial those plays up. Guys have to be able to make them one-on-one -on -one to make life easier on this kicker, who is so important to this team. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. See if they can get it done on second and goal. On the option. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Ben Shipman. And you love giving it to the big boy right near the goal line, plowing ahead. You know he's going to put two hands on the football, lower his shoulder. Second and goal. You don't need third and goal, thanks to the big fella. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. 
Charlotte will send the offense back onto the field. That last fumble proved to be costly as they cashed it in for a touchdown. Yeah, and so this defense now is juiced. They're excited and ready to go. So this offense, David, they've got to get something going. Yeah, those turnovers can be contagious, man. It gets you excited, and then when your offense takes it down the field and does something with it, this offense better be ready to play against a motivated defense. Gets it across the 30 to the 31, a pickup of five. Now on third down for this offense. At the end of the quarter, Navy has the lead. And that was an impressive and dominant first quarter. Let's take a look at the stats before we move on. Just about ready to get things started here in the second. We'll see if they continue to flex that muscle. Brown wants to pass. Got it set up on the outside. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. They'll run it from the gun. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Tried to pound it on first down. Now back to the line. Power football with the run. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. And the 49ers look to keep this drive humming. Handoff to the single running back. And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. Using his legs, it's Norton. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. They've started a pretty good drive. This will be the seventh play, but they need to convert third and five. Flushed out of the pocket. Quarterback tried to scramble around for a while, but the defense able to bring him down. And they've been waiting for something good to happen with respect to the quarterback, right? They're outside of the top 100 in the country in sacks per game. But finally now, you see they're generating this pass rush. Three sacks on the game so far. The 49ers will send out the punt unit. He'll try to really get into this one. You couldn't dial it up much better than that as he knocks it out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. And the midshipman offense making its way back onto the field. And the freshman does a great job using his technique and getting the man on the ground. This offense has a second down play. They'll try the counter. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. Now he's going to glide away from pressure. Trying to make magic with his feet. Across the 25, he's got room. He's finally stopped, but a big play there with his feet as he moves those sticks. I mean, these quarterbacks nowadays can run so fast. Think about who you've got chasing. Defensive linemen, those big old defensive tackles, defensive ends, linebackers. They can't catch him because they're faster than them nowadays. So much speed, so much electricity now with these guys. And here comes the offense on second down. He'll ride his man on the option. He'll toss it. At midfield, he's got room. And that's what this option will do to you. They got the pitch man free, and he was off to the race. Oh, I love that play call. This offense is going to run the football. They're not just going to do it between the tackles, but they're going to attack you outside. You saw that with that handoff. They get to the right. They get him in space using his speed. Good play. They'll line up for a second down play. On the option. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal game. They'll snap it from the 28 in field goal range, but it's third and short. They'll run play action, getting some heat. Time running out, and he goes down at the 34. Play action pass success has a lot to do with selling that fake. You could tell defense was not buying it, got in the backfield, got the big play.
Navy will have to punt it away. Punt goes out of bounds, and a really nice job as they stick them deep in their own end. They'll mark it around the 10. Some misdirection with the counter. Never underestimate the power of moving forward and creating breathing room as they mark it at the 17. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. Oh, it's a reverse. And just wedges it ahead a bit before he's brought down. Third and short, they've got them back up inside the 20, and the D can get the ball back here. They'll try to run for it. And they're able to get a third down stop here. See if they go for it on fourth. And the 49ers line up to punt it away. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. Looking for a block. It's Myers. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. And here comes the Navy offense. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. They'll run the option. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. He'll do it himself. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. We've reached the two-minute warning, and they will try to build on what has already been a dominant first-half performance. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Yeah, and the defensive line, you know, third and long situations. I'm rushing the quarterback. You bring in the nickel, a little bit more speed on the field, and the defensive line gets home and gets the sack on third down. Navy will have to punt it away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. And the ball hits at the three and gets into the end zone. It'll be a touchback. Charlotte has the ball back. The 49ers offense will return to the field. Not a lot of time left here in the half. Let's see if they can cut into this lead. And this drive isn't a must score, but man, you look at the scoreboard. You're down two scores. Jesse, you got a good opportunity. Create some momentum. Cut it to a one-score game. This is an important possession. Yeah, it's important to create that momentum now, David, too, and not wait to get it going here at the start of the third quarter. You've got one drive here to get a couple of points. You've got to start erasing and chipping away at this deficit. This could be where the game turns right here. He finds his man. Turns it on in midfield. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Trying to get to it. At the 35, he's got room. He turns this into a nice game and gets down to avoid the hit. Not the most productive half for this offense so far, but finally starting to get it in gear. First and ten. Throws for the tight end. A strike downfield. Touchdown, 49ers! Hauled it in and just kept right on running to the hallelujah land. And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. Lining up for the PAT. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they finish the deal with a 26-yard touchdown pass. 
He'll bring it out. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. And Navy will go back on the attack. Now, they're backed up here, Jesse. Wonder how aggressive they're willing to be. I think it's going to come down to how much confidence they have in this quarterback and his decision-making because you cannot throw an interception at this part of the field with this little time left. And I think that's conversations you've had with a young fellow on the sidelines being like, what are you comfortable with right here that we can run? Maybe stay aggressive, but make sure I don't make that mistake. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, you have been calling a great broadcast today from there in Annapolis. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. With that said, Let's send it back to the guys at Navy Marine Corps Memorial. Navy will kick it deep to get the second half underway. And they thought about it returned and thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. Charlotte will send the offense back onto the field. Maybe adjustments or attitude or attitude adjustments, but they've got to find a way to run the ball at least some here in the second half. I do think you said something that's important. I think running the football is an attitude. Like, it starts with the offensive lineman and being physical, having a nasty attitude, running back, same thing. I think they need more of that in the second half. You know, and I think if any of you're in this defense, you have an opportunity to make a statement here. Yeah, I know you guys went in at halftime and you riled yourselves up and you told yourself that you think you can run the ball on us. On this very first drive, we're going to prove to you, just like in the first 30 minutes, you cannot. The 49ers have it with a first and 10. Right back to the well. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Win with the running game on first down, now back at it. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. One step, wrap, two step, squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. They've already punted four times in this game, and they're about to run the guy out there for a fifth time if they don't pick up the first down here. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And the 49ers will try to pin them back with the punt. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Slips through the line. That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yardage you can and help out the offense. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. And I think they'll give him two on that one. Second and eight coming up. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. Give to the fullback. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. As they come to the line on third and short from the 43, I wonder if they already know they'll go for it if they don't make it here. And they did not let him get to that first down line. It'll bring up a call here. Yet another punt on the way. Got to make sure that hamstring stays loose. He's been busy. Charlotte has the ball back. The 49ers offense will return to the field. And in a low-scoring game like this one, David, every possession is magnified. And I think more than anything, it just gets frustrating. And you got to put that behind you. you got to see what this defense has been doing to be so successful. Palmer, now use it against them. Yeah, David, I think for a play caller, this is tough, right? It's like you have to have the perfect play on just to get a first down. In these types of games, I think you're just trying to get guys out in space, see if a dude can break a tackle. Maybe that generates an explosive play, and it breaks this trend. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. The play action fake. Quarterback floating away from pressure. They knock him down at the 40. It's a pickup of five, and that will be enough for a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Looking to go up top on first down. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Olsen. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. 
They'll see if they can find some running room on the right here. Not much there on the run. He gets one to the 31. And that last run leaves him with a third down. Well, they keep it on the ground. Brown will throw it. Fires to the wideout. Got him downfield. He's brought down, but he's got him inside the 10. First and goal from the eight. This offense in scoring position with a fresh set of downs. Let's it fly. And that one is picked up in the end zone. And he's brought down after the pick, but not before putting his offense in business. And that's just excellent cover. Man, cover one, nowhere to throw the football. Look at everybody playing man across the board. They still got the safety in the middle of the field. Nobody open. And if I'm the QB man, I don't need to force it. I don't force it into tight windows if it's not there. He throws it, unfortunately, gets the interception. Bad decision by the QB there. And the midshipman offense making its way back onto the field. The sledding has been tough. Have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, just feels like they just haven't been as physical. And for this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing, that get that one positive play, and then maybe you get those juices going and something can start to build. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Here on third down. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Navy will have to punt it away. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. He'll bring it back. It's Reynolds. And they'll get downfield and make the tackle right at the 16-yard line. Charlotte will send the offense back onto the field. That last drive was promising for a while, but you just can't mess it up at the end with the pick, Jesse. No, you've got to be able to finish drives, especially in this game, if you're going to win. And, David, they've got to be able to eliminate the mental mistakes. Yeah, and I don't think you get conservative or play it safe. You can trust your guy. I think you put the ball right back in his hands and let him do his thing. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. On third and short, they keep it on the ground here. And there were some collisions in there, and the D finally stops him short of the marker. The 49ers send out the punt unit. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. He's got great speed. A little pressure on the coverage team there, and they'll stop him at the 47-yard line. One final play before the end of the quarter. Run it with the fullback. And he was able to work his way for just a few, and that will do it for the third quarter. At the end of the quarter, Navy has the lead. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. When you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. Now on the option. Solid fundamentals on that tackle from this freshman. They've got the ball at midfield, but they're facing a third and long. Looking to pass. It's Horvat. They're trying to get to him. He'll try to do it himself. And he scoots his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. On the option. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. Second down. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Line is set on third down. The give to the big fullback. They've got it just outside the red zone. They'll move the chains. It's at the 21. Navy is clicking on all cylinders right now. They'll run the option. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. This drive has already drained more than three minutes off the clock, and now they've got it on second down. Here comes the option. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Just outside the red zone at the 21, but it's third and long. 
goes to the option. And this one will be stopped for no gain. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. It is good! Kick it off after that last drive. Put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut him down. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Charlotte has the ball back. The 49ers offense will return to the field. Brown wants to pass. A little screen to the running back. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play and we'll take a break to check him out. Now here on second down, see if they keep tossing it around. From the gun, they'll try the middle. He maybe gets a yard, they'll mark him at the 29. They'll try to muscle their way forward on third and short from the 29. From the gun, wants to pass. Steps away to find some room. Kept it, and he's past the marker. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. Used the play fake. Now to throw. Takes a hit as he fires. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. After the incompletion, back to the passing game. Got out of trouble, got rid of it. Snagged on the outside, it's Myers. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. On third down, he drops the throw. Using his legs, keeping his eyes downfield. And the quarterback is snowed under. That defender is a matchup nightmare for any offensive lineman in the block. He's got athleticism, he's got length. He's got flexibility. He put it all in his play on that side. And the 49ers will bring the punt team onto the field. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. On the return, it's Myers. And he's going to get it up to about the 29-yard line before he's brought down. And here comes the Navy offense. David, they couldn't pay off that last drive with a touchdown. Now they moved the ball down the field and executed like they wanted to until they stalled out and had to settle for a field. I think if you want to take the next step two here and score a touchdown, you got to start finding more creative ways to get your best players the ball. Let's see if they can do that here. Buys a little time with his feet. And the quarterback was trying to extend the play, and the defense brought it to a close. We've seen this defensive end make a lot of plays. In the run game, he's setting the edge. He's forcing the football to go back inside, but he's not a one-trick pony. He can also get out of his stance, use his hands, and use his speed to beat offensive tackles and get to the QB. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. To the air, it's Horvat. Looking to buy time. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Navy will have to punt it away. Running it back, it's Reynolds. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. Charlotte will send the offense back onto the field. Keeping it on the ground with the single back. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. On second down, he'll let it fly. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. And if you didn't know this was a big play, the crowd is telling you. A huge third down. Looking to scramble. He'll pull it down and run. 
That'll get the job done and move the chains, and they'll mark the ball at the 45. The 49ers will have it first and 10. Running back searching for a hole. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. Second down. Trying play action. Now improvising. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. And the 49ers are on the move. Now he's looking to throw it. Unloads to the wideout. It's caught. And he's brought down after a nice game. We've reached a two-minute warning, and the defense needs to come up with a stop to close this thing out. Makes the catch. It's Myers. That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. Operating in the red zone here on second down. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Niners. That is how it's done. In the clutch, in the big time, your offense comes up with the big drive, puts points on the board. Now you tell your kicker, go knock this PAT through, take the lead. Nice execution by this offense. Lining up to add another. And he knocks it through, and they take the lead. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Dynamite matchup today, fellas. Let's show you what's going down. Indiana is currently trailing in this one, but it feels like the tide may be turning. This program has picked itself up before, and it's capable of it again today. They're trailing by 11 to Nebraska. Wide open downfield. We are the eyes and ears of the college football fan, and we've got you covered all day here in studio, guys. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Looking for a man. It's Horvath. Fires to the right. What a job to lay out and make the catch. And this junior loves to show off that big arm. He'll come out throwing on first down. He's got it. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Sprinting to the line to try to get this one off. Clock's running. They're going to throw it again. Buying some time. Push down for the tackle. Calling a timeout here. You have to avoid making a mistake in this situation. Timeout. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Pressure coming. They get to him as he throws. That pass is well off target. He got hit as he was trying to throw, and they can't convert on third down. Fourth down, got to have it here. He's going to run it. He did not get there, and they'll have to give up the football, and they might have just seen this game slip away. Quarterback's just going to take a knee. Bad offense, good defense, no scoring. That's pretty much what we had in this one as they come up short in a, a bit of a slog fest. Yeah, and most of the time in college football, it's the opposite, right? You don't Defense optional. Offense scores so many points. This one, back and forth. Offense is struggling, trying to make plays. Defense is put on a great effort. And a lot of issues for this offense in this game today, obviously. And I think the coaching staff now really needs to take a look at how they're game planning and how they're going to give their players an opportunity to have success. It may be time now to start changing some things up a little bit. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.